Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vim PF, and on today's episode, we're going to be covering day 13 of the really good whiskey company, Whiskey Advent Calendar. Now, uh, as I said a couple of times recently, uh, we've had a bit of a rough patch, but we're picking up now. Uh, we've got some interesting stuff coming through, so let's get into the door number 13 and we'll see what we've got behind that one. Shall we indeed? We're roughly halfway through now, which is exciting. Uh, my record for these advent calendar things is 16 days, so we're getting there. Uh, okay, we have the Glen Turret Peated. Um, I have no frame of reference for this because um, I'm very understudied on Glen Turret, actually. I've tried a few uh, independent bottled versions of them. Ooh, if you don't like knuckle cracking and stuff like that, then, you know, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I haven't tried much Glen Turret. I've never covered one on the channel, I don't think. Certainly not the peated one, so this was brand new to me, 43%. Um, I don't know anything about natural colour or chill filtration or anything like that. So, um, yeah, we won't waste too much time talking about the distillery because I just don't know it. You know, as I've said before on these things, if I actually do cover, like let's say I bought a bottle of Glen Turret, I would do a lot of research before I do my video, in any case. Let's uh, let's just get straight on to those, and like I said, I'm not going to talk about colour or anything like that because, it, 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 you know, it could well be... You know, 43% could well be um, chill filtered for all I know, but yeah, let's get onto the nose and see what we've got. Okay, interesting. So, now obviously it's got the word peated on the bottle, so, but it's, you know, then you have to kind of figure out where it fits on the peat scale because you can have really light floral heathery peat like Highland Park, or you can have really like dirty boggy peat like Ardbeg, or you can have like medicinal. Kind of you know that kind of hospitally TCP vibes like Laphroaig. So there's all different kinds of pieces. For me, this one sits on a kind of nicely floral, sweeter note. It's um one of the more pretentious things I like to talk about is uh, the stages of a bonfire. You know, with peat. So you can have like a, a freshly lit bonfire where you've got some actual smoke, um, and you get a kind of really nice warming but smoky vibe. And then you've got like, as the fire tends to burn down a bit, but the smoke is still billowing out, it gets a bit dirtier. And then I always say like Laphroaig is like the morning after when there's no heat and it's just a dirty pile of ash. That's like Laphroaig, but you know, for some reason we still love that. At least I do anyway. This is more like, this is more like a, uh, a barbecue vibe. You know, so this is a, this is a burning sensation, burning wood, burning coals with some meat plopped on there. Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. Let's try on the palette. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Mm, my initial vibes were quite a thin mouthfeel initially, but I'm going to have another little sip just to check that. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite thin, but it's not like... It's not really a negative per se. Obviously, this is 43%. I'm going to double up on my uh, opinion that this is probably definitely chill filtered. Um, I know there's some ways of telling with like legs and things like that, but I'm not I'm not that good at uh, telling things like that. Um, it's nice enough. It's got a, a lot of that kind of sweet peat about it. It's um, let's have another sip. Yeah. It's quite light on the peat. I have to say, it isn't overly um, medicinal or smoky or anything. It's just really nice florally vibes going on with it. Maybe a touch of citrusy elements to the back there as well. And the finish is kind of like medium in length. It isn't overly long. It dries out at the back end big time, sours out. But as I always say when I, I tell that tasting note, it's, it just makes me want to have another sip of it. Um, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't know the price of this thing. So I would hope that it's fairly reasonably priced. Um, obviously, by the time you see this video, I'll have looked that up. Um, so we can discuss it in the comments below whether you think it's the value is there or not. That's what not. I'm not here to talk about value with these videos. Um, but for me, yeah, it's nice enough if the price is right. Um, I don't think I'd want to pay much more than sort of 35 quid for this um, because I know that I can get some really exceptional stuff for 35 quid, 40 quid, that sort of price. But you know, whatever. I said I wasn't going to talk about value and then I did anyway, but you know, it is what it is. Um, it's, it's an enjoyable whiskey. Mm. And I should look into checking out Glen Turret on the channel as well. Um, I do like peated stuff, so I'm definitely going to enjoy drinking the rest of that drum, without a doubt, without a doubt. There you go, we're about halfway through. 
I think I said on the last video as well, but please do let me know if you're still keeping up with these. Uh, the viewing figures are doing really well for kind of my normal strength view, so I really appreciate you guys sticking along with me for this. Um, we're about just over halfway now, so we're going to keep plugging on. I'm going to try my best to release uh, one video of this every day now, and I'll probably even have one for Christmas Day, but obviously that'll be pre-recorded. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for following along, and um, make sure you hit the like button if you're enjoying this content. See you tomorrow.